Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And as you see in the title, I'm bringing you guys a, another hair tutorial. And this time it's going to be tight curls. How I achieve these beautiful tight curls. Before we get started, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and join me here on this platform. Thank you so much to all of the new subscribers. Yes, I've been seeing you guys and I've been seeing your comments. I am very, very, very happy. And go ahead, tell everyone about me and bring them on over as well. All right, so without talking and chitty chatting, let's get right into the video. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna show you guys all of the products that I use. These products are gonna be the same thing that I use in my very first hair tutorial. So a few things that I show you and that I say is gonna be repetitive, but that's okay because I'm sure some people haven't even seen the other um, hair tutorial. And um, the short description that I did of this hairstyle in my Get Ready With Me or New Year's Eve. So I'm just gonna show it again, you know, just in case. So we're going to use the same products again, like I said, and this one is the Gorilla Snot. You can find this at Target, Walmart, and pretty much any um, hair store. We're also going to use the Let's Jam, or you can also use the Styling Jam. Um, I use both, but this is what I have for now, so I'm also going to use that. Um, I'm not going to use it um, in this tutorial specifically for you guys to see because I left out these three here so I can obviously show you guys how I do the style and I'm going to use the edge control for that. Um, the edge control I use is Silk Elements and the reason why I use edge control for all around my edges all the way around is because that helps my edges stay a lot longer. For example, on a hot day or if um, I wet my face and stuff, my hair doesn't um, ruin as quick if I use the edge control. Now, if I use this one, then it will ruin pretty fast because my hair is very soft. So I need something that doesn't have much oil in it. So this is why I use this one for my edges. We are also going to use these pipe cleaner curls it looks like this because i have been using this for a very long time so um, i haven't bought new ones yet but it's still pretty good so that's why i don't want to buy new ones yet but it actually looks a lot fuzzier than this and um, a lot thicker so don't let the size really fool you is because that i've been using it so i'll show you guys how i actually form it to turn into um, little rollers for the curls hairstyle and then you're also going to need a hair dryer and this um portable hair dryer so a blow dryer and this portable hair dryer this i bought at sally's to be specific i forgot how much it costs but this thing is very very good as long as you have a blow dryer and this it works really well um, you can travel with this and I actually went home with this, uh, to the Caribbean. If you saw my, um, curly updo for the wedding that I was in, in my previous vlog in Dominica, I brought this with me and I'm happy that I did. So it, it's very convenient to travel with. All right. So with the pipe cleaner curls, I separated them. So this one was actually two so these pipe cleaner curls i bought at joanne's fabric store but you can also find it at target and i believe michael's arts and craft store or maybe whatever action craft store is near you as well um it wasn't too expensive i think it was two or four dollars if i'm not mistaking i could be wrong but it's not too expensive and i got a hundred and one bag um since my hair is a lot longer now, I had to buy two bags because I have 76 locks to be specific. And since I had to double these, I had to buy um, two bags. Um, when my hair was a lot shorter, I just used one. So the way that I make these is bending it in half, make a little loop right here, and then I twist it. 
and then I keep twisting and twisting until it comes to the end. So this is how short it's going to look. And because my hair was a lot shorter in the past, I just only need one. But now that it's longer, I have to use two of these. And to give you guys an estimate, my hair is pretty much close to my butt. And I'm 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, or so. So um, just to give you guys a heads up of how long my hair is and you know how much you might need to curl uh, these babies up. Okay, so what I do is I put these together, okay, both pipe cleaners together, and then I twist, okay, and then you keep twisting until they are completely connected, All right? I do about two inches or so on each end, and then that's when I join them together to make a little tiny loop like this okay then I start twisting and twisting and it looks like this okay so that's how I form my little pipe cleaner rollers for this beautiful hairstyle that we are about to do. So now let's get started. Once again, like I said, I'm gonna use edge control since I'm on my edges, but then I use this for the rest of my hair. All right, so I'm gonna take a rat tail comb and I'm gonna comb out the roots and add a bit of the edge control. I have a little mirror right there. So that's where I'm looking as well, just to make sure I got everything. And so since my hair in the front is a bit longer than the rest of my hair, I do something called flat twist. So if you remember in my first hair tutorial, I just twist over each other until I get to the end. Over and over and over. And then I palm roll. All right, and I just do this loop so that it can just stay in place until I come back to it. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing for the other two. Now, I really left out three of them because I'm sure you guys don't want to have, watch me sit there and do my entire hair because it takes about um, an hour and a half up to two hours only, depending on how fast I move, right? So I just wanted to show you guys three of them just so you master it. Or if you don't want to rewind it over and over while you're doing your hair, I figured you could just follow um, along as the video plays with these three. Okay, so now that we're done with the twisting, we're going to use the Gorilla Snot Gel. And all you need is really this much is what I use. And I spread it throughout the hair all the way down. And then this is when we take the pipe cleaner curl. So I start at the end where this little loop is. And then I twist it like this right here. And then I take the rest of the hair and then I curl it over. And I keep doing this until it gets to the end of my hair.
Okay, so when I get to the end of the hair, I take the stick and I bend it. And I also take this little end where we have the loop and I bend it over just to secure the hair that we twisted over. And then I take the extra and I just like to bend it like this so it won't be sticking out. But I bend it enough where I make sure that it's tight here at the root so it holds the hair in place. All right. Now we're going to do it two more times, the same process. So again, we're going to start where the little loop is, take the hair, turn it over, take the rest of the hair, and just twist it all the way to the end. All right, just like that. Bring this over, then this loop over, and twist it around. All right, and we're done. Now I forgot one more product that I'm going to show you guys that I actually just started using. I don't, I never used to always use it, but let me show you. All right, it is the Got To Be spray. This spray, you can also find it at any hair store and I paid $7.99 for it because only because I see the price still attached to it. <laughs> but you can get this at any hair store. This actually makes the hair stay even longer and last even longer. So now that we are on that topic, this hairstyle lasts me for about two weeks or more. When the style starts dropping a bit, it looks even nicer. I mean, like you could just, you know, throw half of the hair to the side and like pump it up a little bit. It looks really nice as the pearls like slowly start dropping. All right. So once you have this style, you have to really remember to try not getting... It wet when you get it wet that's when the curls start dropping even faster and it just literally starts dropping it doesn't like take its time to drop slowly it just is ready to just uncurl All right so that's one of those things about this hairstyle so first I'm gonna just spray this all over And then this is when the drying comes in I sit under this dryer for about five to ten minutes depending on how tired I am and how long I really want to see sit under this heat um, you can put the heat this is why I like this because also you can put the heat as high or as low as you want because I mean you're using the blow dryer <laughs> Are done for now so this hairstyle I keep this in for two days all right so today's Friday so I'm gonna take this out on Sunday 
so when i come back on sunday i'm going to show you guys how i take it out all right and taking it out is also very very important in terms of allowing the hairstyle to last as long as you want it to now before we sign out and come back on sunday in two days i'm going to show you guys this sweater this sweater is from my website so if you guys haven't seen in the description box i always put the website there um i'm going to actually paste the actual link there but i usually just type in www.crayroyal.com all right we don't only have sweaters we have beanies we have sweatpants we have um, hoodies we have crop hoodies we have sneakers all right the whole shazam if you haven't done so yet check out my website this is the logo well we have a few couple um other logos on there but isn't this so dope and this sweater is so warm it is so warm i promise you you won't be disappointed so check it out so I wanted to show you guys this now because in two days I will not be wearing this sweater. But yeah, I figured I'll put that on. Buy it and support your girl. All right, done for now. See you guys in two days. All right, so it's been two days. So today's Sunday. And as you can see, I've already started taking them out. So once again, I don't think you guys want to see me sitting here taking all of these little things out so i left three of them up top so i can show you guys how i take them out so first you're gonna twist the top around and pull it a little bit on a hook the end that we tucked under and you slide it off now if you take it and just pull it it's going to loosen up your curls a lot quicker than you probably want it to. So the part where you take it out is very important if you want to keep the tight curls longer than usual. So again, I pulled it, unravel it a little bit, lift this end back up, and I slide it off. So I'm going to do it one more time and then show you guys how I style it. Um, I'm going to show you guys about maybe three styles. So the third style is how I'm going to leave it for the night. I'm actually heading out to a friend's giving, so that's why I figured this weekend would have been the perfect time to do this style for you guys. So yeah. All right. I forgot to also mention that I sat under the dryer again for about five minutes. So I didn't want to put that on there because you guys already know what it looks like. So I sat under there for about five minutes to make sure that it is completely dry. Okay, so the first style that I'm going to show you is, well, I'm not going to put all of the little hairpins in there. But I use these, okay, to do the first style. So my go-to styles is a mohawk, right? So what I do is I put them up on the sides and see really how far up that I want it to go. And as I tuck and pin, then I decide if I want it to be up more or a little bit down, but I always put it all the way up just so you can get like the mohawk style. And so the way I do this is I take one of the pins and I take a few pieces of my hair and I twist it so that it can stay firm when I use these pins, right? I twist it and twist it and I take this and I tuck it underneath and then press it down, right? So that way it stays up. And so I take a few again and I do the same thing until I get to the end. The top part, what I do for the top part, I let a few of it flow to the front so that you can get like a little bit more of the mohawk style. So I take it and I bring it more 
to the front like this and I put a little pins in the front as well right and then I tuck it under all right so this is the first style the second style that I do is taking some of my hair and I flip it to the sides again with that style it's the same thing as the mohawk you take it and you twist it so that the pins can actually hold strong in the front okay and then I flip it to the side like this or what I do is I take the entire half of my hair and put it to the side like this as well using the same pins right so I just use pins to keep it on the side but for tonight the style I'm gonna do today is an updo and a little bit of curls to the front to make it look like banks so I love using these small, tight hair ties to help keep my hair in place, right? So I'm going to keep a few of these out. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna keep a few of these out and take the rest of them and put it up like this. All right, so now that I have everything in there, I usually take the hair and I push it up more so that I can have more hair flowing to the front to give that, um, style of banks in the front so now i'm going to take some pins and use the pins to really keep it up because i don't want anything really falling too much to the side you can do that but i like it when they're really a bit up more okay so i'm going to take some of the pins and do the whole tucking thing You just keep doing it until you are satisfied with how you want it to look. So the more pulling, the looser it's going to get as the days go on. So since I want it to last for Thanksgiving, which is this upcoming week, um, for the rest of the week for work, I'm just going to leave it down so it can do its own thing because I really don't want to do too much pulling because like I said, I want it to last. So I think this is good. I'm going to keep it like this. I think it will stay. I'm going to put one more pin right here. All right. And this is the look. What do you guys think? So you guys remember, you can really play around with this style. You can keep everything down. You can do half in the middle here and pull it back. It's really up to you, but these are normally my go-to styles, the mohawk and this updo, or taking everything and putting it in a uh, ponytail. But yeah, this is the look for tonight. And if you guys want to see 
for our mooring at the bottom it's really just some jeans with this top and i decided to pair it with some adidas uh, sneakers so this is my simple outfit for tonight it is very cold but i also want it to be comfortable as well so yeah this is the look tell me what you guys think let me know if i should do more hair tutorials i really don't have much other than this style and the very first hair tutorial that you saw which was my second video i believe um if you haven't seen that go take a look at that but these are the two that i really go for All right so once again thank you guys for watching i really appreciate every single one of you all of my new subscribers as well it's much appreciated and stay tuned for the next upcoming videos that I have for you guys. Bye.